Hi everyone, it's Brendan from Seattle Coffee Gear. Today we're gonna to go through the tune-up kit that we provide for the Nuova Oscar. Um, I should let you know before we get started, these same parts work with the Nuova Musica, um, but the installation's a little different. Uh, with the Oscar, we have the ability of actually flipping this machine upside down and looking down at the brew head, which is uh, a big advantage when you're installing something like a brew head gasket. Uh, and unfortunately, you can't do that with the Musica just due to the way the boiler's set up. Um, things you're going to need for this install with the Oscar, uh, I like to put down some towels uh, or something soft so when you have the top edge of this resting, um, you don't scratch it. It's a very nice finish and you don't want to scratch it at all. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is flip this upside down. Um, and in order to do that, we've got to remove all the accessories, those being the water tank. And make sure that, you know, that's empty. Uh, and then the drip tray up here. Get that out and the grate along with it. And then the portafilter. And I should also let you know, you might see a little tiny bit of water when you flip the machine upside down. And that's just because at the bottom down here, there's a water tank manifold. And just a little bit of water can have a tendency to stay in there. Uh, so don't be worried if you see a little bit of water. So here come, you might need some help if you know if you don't feel comfortable flipping this yourself. I do, um, it's no problem. But if you if you need some help, feel free to go grab someone in your house. Then flip this like that. Be careful the water tank lid, and we're essentially ready to go now. And as you can see, you can just you got this clear view down here right at the brew head. Like I said, that's a big advantage because typically you kind of be looking up and you couldn't see everything. And it's important that while you're doing this, you actually get all the coffee grounds out. And uh, yeah, you just do a very thorough job. So things that you're going to need for this installation is just a flathead screwdriver. The screen screw is a flathead um, and some awls to help get your brew head gasket out. And the first thing we're going to do is take out the screw. Um, it's fairly easy. Sometimes you might find the screw to be kind of tight and that's just a product of uh, this brew head heating up and cooling down and heating up. They can sometimes get a tendency to be pretty tight. Um, but just work at it and you'll be able to get it out just fine. And when you take out the screen, two things are going to come out. Uh, the screen itself, but also the brass diffuser. So this is your diffuser. You're going to find this underneath your screen. It's the only part you're really going to see here that is not in your tune-up kit. Uh, and it's probably going to be a lot dirtier uh, than the one you're currently seeing here, uh, your one at home. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is soak this in something. It, it could just be hot water uh, or kafiza if you happen to have that. We sell that on our website. And if you just soak this for about 5-10 minutes uh, while you're doing this work, uh, and then give it a good wipe down, you'll be surprised how clean this can get. And notice that it's specific uh, in terms of how the screen fits on it. Uh, there's a groove here on the outside edge which match up perfectly with the screen. Um, the screen will not work on the other side. So be, be aware of that. The curved side should be facing you and the flat side should be facing down when you're installing this kit. Uh, so just, yeah, get that as clean as you can and you'll be ready for another good cup of coffee. This particular machine is actually out of our showroom here at Seattle Coffee Gear. So you're probably going to find that your machine at home is a lot dirtier than this. Uh, the, the actual brew head down here is, is in great shape, but at home you're, you'll probably notice that a lot of coffee, residual coffee is down here around there. Um, I actually brought a bad screen from our repair department. Uh, this is a, a, a screen off an Oscar that was in our repair department. As you can see, there's just a lot of coffee on there. And it's important to put a new screen on because essentially your pump is working through that and it's extra pressure that your pump shouldn't have to work through. Uh, so this can be very important just for the, the life of your machine. So our, we took these first three parts out. Our next step is to get the brew head gasket out. And I want to point out these grooves that are on the gasket right here. These are actually, there's four of them uh, alongside the outside edge of the brew head gasket. And those are actually there to help you remove it, to get, to get something like an awl on the outside edge. If you can find one of those, I kind of see one right here. They're kind of hard to see and they're, they'll probably be harder for you to see at home because you'll have a little more coffee around. But if you give it a good wipe down with like a wet towel or something, 
you should be able to see one of those grooves to get something pointing down in and start trying to free your brew head gasket. Now I kind of got the side of this brew head gasket stabbed. I'm kind of just trying to get under it and you, this will probably be a combination of two tools. So I've, I've, I've actually freed the brew head gasket but this little thin awl doesn't really provide as much leverage as I would like. So now I'm going to get this flathead screwdriver and I'm going to try to do the same thing and then kind of use my hands here to get all the way underneath this brew head gasket. And like I said, this is a, they like to keep things in good shape in this showroom there for good reason. And this brew head gasket is in great shape. But you'll notice at home, yours will be brittle, it will probably be harder, won't be as flexible. And there still is a lot of coffee here. Um, and that coffee is very acidic, can be hard on your brew head gasket. I have a, a wet rag here just to kind of give a, a wipe down and try to get all this coffee out. It's important to get all that out just because you won't have to do this as often. So let me get all this out and then we'll, we will be ready to install the new parts that come in the kit. So we're kind of all good there. Everything's looking pretty clean, which is great. And now we are ready to install our other parts. So here is our new brew head gasket. And just something to go over real quick that you will see if it's a, if it's a gasket manufactured by Nuova, which it should be, um, you'll actually see a Nuova symbol there. That should, be, you, that should be facing the top of your brew head. You shouldn't see it when you're installing your brew head gasket. And that's just because your portafilter is making a seal on this and it probably wouldn't be the end of the world, but they do advise that that symbol goes towards the top edge of the brew head. So I'm putting this in there now and just keep in mind that the only thing keeping your brew head gasket in place is pretty much just friction. It's a tight fit um, and it's intended to be. Uh, so it might take a little bit of elbow grease, but you know, just prepare for that. And you know, it, kind of, it pretty much just falls right in place. And we're going to put these other two parts in and then we'll make sure the brew head gasket's completely in place um, by getting the portafilter and making a seal and making sure our portafilter is lining up accurately. So let me get the screen out now with our new screw here. Get the old parts out of the way here. And we're going to line up the diffuser first. I always find that pretty easy if, you know, right now we don't have very many, too many variables in here. So I'm going to put the diffuser down and line it up with the threads of that screen screw hole. And I can see the threads right now. I know it's pretty much centered just fine. And just also to make it a little easier, I'm going to put the screw through the screen first. And now also kind of put that there. I also think it's kind of important just to start, start the threading off just by hand so you can really make sure that you're not cross threading it at all. They are machine threads, so you know th those can be a little easier to cross thread. See, I still haven't threaded in here, so this can be a, you know, an interesting part. You might have to try a couple times, like I might have to here. So I'm actually going to take this off and just, yeah, I'm no longer aligned. That's fine. Now we're good. Try this again. I'm moving all over the place here. There we go. Now I, I finally know I'm in. That's in place and I know I'm threaded in correctly so we're good to go. Now we're going to go ahead and tighten this down. And another good thing to know is, is don't you don't need to tighten this down very tight. The only thing this is doing is holding your screen in place. And if you tighten this down tight, you're just going to make it harder for you when you need to remove it. Um, like I said, heating up and cooling, uh, is, it, that will do a number on your uh, screw as it is. So I just kind of finger tighten it and I know I'm good to go. And now I'm going to grab my portafilter while it's upside down just to ensure that, you know, everything's right. It would, it would stink to get this all installed, flip it over and realize that your portafilter isn't sealing right. So I'm going to put this in and I'm really, what I'm looking for is just for it to go straight out right at me. Um, so, it, and it looks great. It's pretty much perpendicular exactly to the front of the machine. So I'm knowing that, that everything's installed right. If, if your brew head gasket isn't in there correctly, um, most likely you're not going to be able to get it straight out. It's going to do something like that, which means you, it's not down all the way and you just probably need to get back in there and kind of adjust your brew head gasket. Um, but right now, like I said, it's doing great, making a good seal there. I can feel the seal as I'm tightening it. I've, I feel the seal forming and, and that's pretty much the entire tune-up kit. 
And like I said, this is just very, very helpful for the life of your machine. It's very important to do this. Um, things that can happen to your machine to let you know that you need to do a tune-up kit would be if you see coffee or water leaking around the top edge of your portafilter. That means your gasket is essentially failing and there could be a bunch of coffee grounds up there and you need to make a seal. Um, the other things could be if there's continually a lot of coffee grounds building up around your screen, you're also in need of a tune-up kit. Um, a, a lot of customers have told us this lies in line with uh, pretty much three or four D scales. Uh, every third or fourth D scale. Take a look at this assembly up here. If you notice it's getting kind of grimy with a lot of coffee, um, it's pretty much time to uh, get these new parts in. Uh, so good luck. Happy you guys purchased the tune-up kit and uh, have fun making coffee. Thank you.